Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Libra, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading Libra. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this weekly reading, of course let me know in the comments below which cards resonate with you and how they do darling, because that is how we keep up with you Libra is through the comments. As well if you do enjoy this tarot reading today Libra or you just enjoy my vibe honey, I would appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe Libra because it does help me out a lot and I am super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me because it does help me out a lot uh, but remember Libra to rely on your intuition honey because put it in perspective I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you you know your situation better than I ever possibly could because I just believe these cards are just here to give you some food for thought for today perspective for you to consider but never making the choices in your life because it's your life to live not mine all that being said Libra let's just jump into your weekly reading today darling all right let's see what's going on for you how are you feeling right now Libra what is going on for you currently how are you currently feeling honey so you're in this place of really trying to connect to the spirit. You have the pro spirit coming in here, 17 equaling to 8 Libra. So write that down for numerology. Uh, so with this pro spirit, co-create with spirit, you are really in this... Um, I'm getting like this strong emphasis, Libra, yeah, of you trying to just understand your purpose, understanding like where spirits are trying to direct you right now. And so when you're, when I see this card coming in here, you're looking for a sign, Libra, you're looking for a sign. And so let's get a little bit more detail on this. Let's see if we can see um, what it is that you're looking for a sign on. How are you, you know, what's going on, Libra? All right, so we have coming in the Queen of Cups in the reverse, coming in for you, as well as the Six of Wands, Libra, paired with the Five of Pentacles inverted for you, Libra. So very interesting energies, darling. So we're going to break down this Queen of Cups first. I'm getting that right now you are feeling pretty emotionally just distraught. Uh, I don't want to say distraught right now. But um, you are feeling just pretty down and sad just generally about life, I feel. You just want things to be working out, I feel as if, and just, you know, maybe at this point, especially with the Queen of Cups especially, you may feel as if no one understands you currently, Libra, in the sense of where, you know, you probably feel probably the most alone that you've ever currently felt, right? You feel as if, like, the world's out to get you or, like, everyone's trying to just find ways to sabotage Libra right? You have the Six of Wands here, which shows to me what it is, really what has you down in the dumps, Libra. You're really hoping to have, like, something to really be working out for you. You really are hoping to either just be noticed by the right people, or you're just hoping just for some good things to happen, Libra, overall, which is, I can't blame you for that, right? Naturally, that's something that we all want to be feeling. So... Yeah, this is what you're looking for a sign on. You're really trying to hope you're, it's for some of you Libras, you probably have been praying a little bit and just really trying to make a deal with spirit and just be like, hey, what is it that I need to do, man? What is it that Libra needs to do so that things can start working out? So things can finally stop feeling like there's just so much friction. Um, Five of Pentacles coming in here and I feel as if this is the situation, Libra, of where you feel probably stuck in a toxic situation, stuck in a toxic environment. And it doesn't have to be in, in anything in specific necessarily, Libra. This could be a situation where you feel like you can't quite get over this hump, right? You feel as if you're trying, there's like some puzzle piece missing that you can't quite find the piece to, but it's just like you really want to complete this puzzle, but you're stuck until you find this last puzzle piece. So you're just like, all right, what am I doing wrong? Where am I not seeing this last puzzle piece? What where, what part in my formula right now isn't working out for me, Libra? So you're asking spirit for a sign, naturally, right? Let's close this row off with the Eight of Cups in the reverse. So this, yeah, this is just overall situ a situation, Libra, where you feel stuck right now. You don't know, you have this intention and in really wanting to move on, right? You really want to keep things going, keep making this forward progression, but you just don't quite know where forward looks like for you, Libra, I would say. So what's going to be happening for this week for my beautiful Libras? What's going to be happening for my Libras this week? What can we expect in this journey for them? We have 53 equaling to 8 for numerology. So 8 coming in twice for you, Libra. Definitely write down the number 8 to look up later. The seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. 
So, can we talk about how beautiful this message actually is peering out to be, Libra? Like, hello? You have the crow spirit looking for a sign, you're looking for a sign, and then the response that you get from spirit is watching and waiting from the seahorse spirit. You're being told to wait things out. Your story gets better, Libra, and I have a very strong feeling that you're going to get some very powerful cards coming in here. So, let's continue on. Let's get some clarifiers on this, Libra. Wash and wait from the seahorse spirit. Powerful, powerful, powerful. I do feel drawn to pull the back of the deck as well. All right. So give me a moment, Libra, while I get these situated for you. You have the Ace of Cups coming in with the Knight of Pentacles, both in the reverse for you, Libra. This is coming in as this message of where... Um, Definitely, you're kind of keeping your heart closed off. To like, I feel like you're really turned off, Libra, from really trying anymore. <laughs> is to say, it's getting to the sense where I feel like for a lot of you, Libras, you're just like, I don't want to do this road trip anymore. This doesn't sound like fun. Can we just turn back around to wherever we came from and like try to work this things like work things out in a different way, um, Libra? Coming in as well with the Four of Wands and the Two of Cups, Libra you probably have experienced i do get this sense libra that honestly you're going to be experiencing a little bit further um it's almost this sense where you're gonna have to continue pushing on continue trucking on without a little bit of a support system still you're gonna have to be your own support system for a little bit longer i'm getting with this two of cups here and this four of wands it's almost as if you need to be told for some of you libras you're having something intentioned in mind of where you're just like all right this is going to work out in this way with this person right and i feel almost like your storyline is being told libra that your next chapter doesn't quite involve um certain attributes that you think might that might involve right knight of wands ace of cups this is showing to me where you're gonna have to kind of go out of your comfort zone a little bit more you're being challenged a little bit a little bit more libra in terms of like you know last week i put as your title where it's just like this is your test libra and this is still kind of no different i feel like this test is kind of continuing on a little bit into this week right and i know you're feeling pretty fatigued at this time libra but there is this sense of where it's like, I just feel like there's going to be a little bit more resistance before it gets better. You know, I can't paint like a pretty uh, gorgeous, beautiful picture as much as I want to with this Libra. I do feel like there's going to be a little bit more struggle and I feel like there's going to have to be this acceptance almost of how, you know, you're being told it's like, oh, I can't bring this along with me. Are you sure? sort of thing and kind of just accepting the fact of how that is you have the six of cups coming in here in the upright to for you libra so this is a good sign right so what it's almost this sense now libra of where it's like you have you're being forced to let go of something and accept that you can't bring this along with you but shortly after i, I feel like i almost said this for your reading last week maybe i didn't libra let me know if you watched um but with the six of cups this is almost like having your hands rip like <clears throat> it's like Having like what you're already like, you're putting away, you're emptying your hands, and then right when you're turning back, you're having your hands filled up again with the Six of Cups because the Six of Cups represents some type of offering going forward for you, Libra. So definitely what I would be saying this week is definitely allow things to be emptied out in your life, even though I know there's going to be a little bit more frustration, right? I know for some of you Libras, you might just be like, oh my God, Velka, like how much more do I need to release? What are you saying, darling? watch and wait right you may not first right now you may not understand pay attention to the small details of things mouse spirit coming in here in the back of the deck pay attention to the small things there's something like you know it's through very small things that big things start happening libra and i feel like for you uh you're gonna have to start just paying attention yeah just truly like make continue making these edits and like you may not see things really coming into like this dramatic flashy like um celebration immediately but it's just like through a lot of like small details it's going to build up to something beautiful libra so let's get a little bit of an idea on how this future looks like for you right what does the future look like for my libras Ooh, honey hopefully this future looks better than how these cards are looking with how they're falling out of my hands darling so let's see here you have the swan spirit 60 uh, number 60, rather, equaling to six. Swan Spirit, time to dive deep. 
So Libra, you're definitely going to be in this place of reflection. You're definitely going to be going inwardly. What? Why are you going inwardly though? Why, why is my Libra going um, diving deep? I guess I'm taking this more so in an internal way. I guess that's showing my bias, Libra. You could be diving deep into a new opportunity, whatever that Six of Cups represents for you, Libra. But we'll see with these clarifiers. You have the Three of Wands coming in here. So travel. Definitely tra traveling. <laughs> this sense of where almost like you're going all in on a situation, Libra. It's almost like whenever, whenever the Six of Cups situation happens, this opportunity happens, you have the opportunity to go all in with it. Go, you know, go the full mile. And I see you starting to go the full mire, mile, Libra. So do not be afraid of... Um, just committing to something that seems a little bit crazy right you know i want to kind of uh, refine that message a little bit more darling don't be afraid of because i saw with that knight of pent or knight of pentacles yeah knight of pentacles in the reverse in the ace of wands in the reverse or ace of cups in the reverse for you libra you're almost like don't want to make yourself uncomfortable i see opportunities coming in that's going to make you uncomfortable like if you were to engage with it and I'm being told to just like lean into that more, really lean into your discomfort more. The fool card, because you're going into a new chapter, darling, right? You don't get, when you go into a new chapter in life, when you go into a new phase in your life, Libra, you're not supposed to be comfortable, right? You're not supposed to be in your comfort zone because it's supposed to be all completely new for you. So I really go all in, Libra, go all, all, all in with any opportunity that's presented to you, even if it sounds scary. I do kind of feel as if it's associated with you moving in some way. It doesn't have to be physically, you could be moving jobs, you could be moving um relationships could be move you could be quite literally moving right but whatever it is this movement i feel like it's just placing yourself into a new environment and like not looking back libra you have the temperance card definitely a time of just waiting things out a little bit longer for you libra and then the page of cups coming in here so this is almost like a side message libra of where spirits telling you essentially of being like you know, you have all this forward movement going on here. And I kind of feel like most of the, most of, if not all of it is kind of unrelated to your personal life, uh, Libra. And I feel like for some of you Libras are sitting here tapping your foot and being like, all right now, like this is all great and lovely, darling, but you don't want to be alone in this journey, Libra, right? You don't want to be continuing on picking up the pieces and going through this journey by yourself. And I feel like uh, this is coming in as a specific message in that, you're not going to be alone for too much longer, Libra. Page of Cups represents a new energy coming in. Remembering this is the under the scope of the Swan card, and I feel like the Swan is the most representation, most beautiful representation of the pairing, right? A loving pairing where they mate for life, right? So um, be patient with that, my Libras that are feeling a little bit more antsy about what's going on with their personal life and when their personal life is going to improve, right, Libra? So um, let's now dive deep a little bit into your um, social situations, Libra. Let's see what's going on there. See if we can get any more insight this week on what's going on socially for you. 61, the turkey spirit. 7, in numerology. Give with gratitude and grace. So this is a time of really practicing some gratitude with your connections this week, Libra. Let's see what's going on here. Why are you going to be in the state of gratitude when it comes to your connections this week? Is this a good sign in terms of just like... Let's see. When I also say social situations, Libra, um, I don't just mean like romantic, right? It can be family or anything like that. So, yeah. But so with this turkey spirit, I do feel like, let's see here, queen of wands in the reverse. There's almost a situation here, Libra, that... don't keep yourself don't put make yourself too busy libra is something that i'm feeling there's almost like you have people in your life that are wanting to connect with you more libra but it feels almost as if they don't know how to connect with you they don't know how to connect with you because they see you extremely passionate they see you really pushing your boundaries and really doing the thing right i feel like libra you're not realizing like how admired you actually are by people in your life and it's because they're just like they see you as a strong motivated presence that's really trying to build something beautiful they don't know how to approach you they don't want to approach you because they don't want to feel as if they're wait they're wasting your time and that's why the queen of wands is inverted for you libra 
let's continue on with the knight of wands inverted as well yeah the only thing i really want to say with this libra is that just make time for those connections that are in your personal life or at the very least i think i've told you this before in the past with some of your readings libra of working on your softness a little bit working on your vulnerability because i feel like your vulnerability like people just really take you in a very like I don't know if they take you in like a severe degree, Libra, or if they just take you really seriously, but it's this sense here where it's like people are just afraid to approach you, Libra. Strength card in the reverse. Yeah, whoever's going on here, there's someone in your life that wants to connect with you deeper, Libra, but they don't know how to approach you. So work on your vulnerability a little bit more. Um, work on your softness and make make some time for those around you because there's someone I almost feel like there's a message someone has for you in your personal life um, for them to be coming in like this wanting to connect in this way so right now Libra let's get into your financial situation now your financial and career let's see what's going on there darling before we close this reading out for you we have the dove spirit be at peace number 21 equaling to three my favorite number Libra be at peace right now Libra so dove spirit, I always kind of associate the dove as a sign from spirit in of itself as well. So I can't help but want to bring up the card that we have coming in here, the seahorse, where it's telling you to watch and wait, Libra. So powerful message in that. Let's see what clarifiers we can get with this. Be at peace, Libra. I don't know if you've been stressing about your finances or how your career is going to be working out, especially with how the general portion was talking about this. Page of wands in the reverse here for you with the justice card your card libra coming in here with the a of wands traveling again libra 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 traveling again the thing i want to give you again this heads up for libra and i feel like some of you guys might end up actually rejecting this which i mean it's your business darling what am i going to tell you what to do with your life right but i feel like i don't know if you guys either rejected this idea in the past libra or you were resistant to the idea of like moving on or transitioning into something different um but i am really getting this strong sense this strong desire libra of like the further that you become more comfortable with yourself and connected with yourself, the more things start opening up for you to really live in like, to do something else that's more about just you, Libra, if that makes sense. Um, I do feel like there's just been this weird resistance in you potentially just going out on your own doing something, right? I do get this strong sense this is honing in on a message, Libra, of where Spirit's trying to push you to go out on your own um, and really, see where you can go with that so um yeah libra i'm gonna close this out with a positive affirmation card because y'all know libras i love my quotes i love my positive affirmations and then i'm gonna close out this weekly horoscope reading for you libra let's see what card comes in for you we have the uh, let's see here i don't know what that sound was <laughs> this card says libra when i'm connected to my joyful presence i attract support from the universe so work on your gratitude a little bit more libra i'm not saying that you're acting ungrateful right now but this is a time right now that you re you know i always say that our thoughts our energy is always put being put out there and we attract what we put out there naturally darling and so really be aware of your mindset this week libra i know it's tough i know you've been going through this this challenge this you know especially from last week where it's just like this is your test right and i, I know you're a lot of you libras are feeling fatigued right now from that test but you know this is just the next phase of it wait be at peace right now dive deep where you need to be diving deep darling pay attention to the small details libra and just watch and wait because your story's about to get so much better. You're going to be so happy that you made it through this test, Libra. I'm going to read off this affirmation again one more time. When I'm connected to my joyful presence, Libra, I attract support from the universe. All right, Libra, I love you so much. Thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you in this weekly horoscope reading. If you enjoyed this reading, let me know in the comments below which cards resonated with you and how they did, darling, because that's how I keep up with y'all. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, Libra, my website is just simply velka.com. I have it linked down below along with all my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, everything is just simply velka. And if you have a friend that's into tarot at all, Libra, send them the Zodiac video and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them. Till next time though, Libra, I love you so much.